right guys so we are making baby spinach today actually we are making butter garlic spinach so stay tuned all right guys so in a medium saucepan we have one tablespoon of olive oil and we are adding one and a half tablespoons of butter after that's incorporated and melted we're going to add a 16 ounce container of spinach baby spinach okay and it's on medium heat you can hear the sizzle a little bit you don't want it too high but it's already cleaned already washed spinach wilts down really quickly and really small so this should be just enough for four people and I didn't want this over garlicky so I added half the spinach I'm going to put the garlic in now and stir it a little bit and then I'm going to add the rest of the spinach and we just want to give that a little toss and you can add the garlic to the butter if you want to to give it a good garlicky taste but my kids are not big fans of garlic unfortunately but sometimes when they know it's in there then they make a fuss but if they don't know that it's in there it's just ooh, it's good <laughs> so since i have garlic on my pork chops i'm not going to over garlic the spinach okay so i just wilted this down a little bit i'm going to add the rest of the spinach now Sometimes if you add all the spinach in at one time, it's just too much for your pan to hold, depending on the size of your pan. And I know this looks like a lot, but it's going to wilt down, you guys, and it's going to be the perfect amount for this skillet. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's flattening down already. And I'm just going to add the rest in here. If you'd like, you can add all your seasonings to the butter, which is the best to do. But if you like, like people in my house, you like things kind of mildly seasoned. I like them seasoned well, but my family likes mild seasoning. So I'm going to season this lightly after it shrinks down some more. And you just kind of want to flip and turn as it goes and it goes very fast you guys very fast this is a very fast and easy side and healthy too when it starts wilting down like this you want to turn your heat down to low turn your burner to low and in a second we're going to season these all right now you want to add your sea salt in and you can just kind of eye it. I'm going to do about one fourth of a teaspoon. I'm now going to do about an eighth teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And this pepper comes out slow. I'm not adding a lot. It comes out very slow. And my pork chops should be ready. Okay. Oh, that's very wilted. I'm going to get a little bit more butter in here and they'll be done. I'm going to turn the eye off now. Adding in another teaspoon of butter, and there goes my pork chops. They're ready. Okay, I'll turn that alarm off. So I have that garlic and butter in there. If you want to add more garlic, you can. But these are ready, and I'm going to take them off of the eye. And looky, looky. They look delicious. I'm just going to give these apples a toss in that pan gravy. Oh my goodness. Nice and soft now. Oh wow. Okay. Let me see what they're looking like on the other side. Oh, wee. Amazing. And we're going to let these sit and rest for about five to seven minutes. All 
Okay, guys, now for the moment of truth. Let me, okay, I'm going to give you all a bite first. Ooh, doesn't that look good? I'm going to taste some of this spinach. Okay, I'm hoping I can get... Let me see. Okay. Mmm. Nice and mild, buttery and garlicky. Okay. All right, guys, so both came out good. If you are watching the spinach video, y'all go over to the pork chop video to see how I made the pork chops. I'll link it at the end of this video. And then if you're watching the pork chop video, go over to the spinach video and see how I made the spinach. Both easy, both delicious, and they complement each other so well. Mm. Delicious. All right, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Please give me a comment down below whether it looks good to you or not or whatever, but comment something down below. Click the thumbs up for me, please. And y'all, share this video. Share it with your nieces, uh, some your daughters, you know, your girls that are of cooking age. They might be out on their own and they don't know how to cook yet. Send some of these videos to them. All right, y'all be blessed. I'll see you guys next time right back here on Tracy's Place. I hope I'll eat all of these before everybody gets to the table.